Hey everybody, how you doing? As promised, I would give you a video featuring my new prototype KT20 mini press that I just got in today from CRD. So, what are we going to use to inaugurate this? Well, I think we're going to go with some GTI Star Tribe. Picked it up today at uh, the Healing Center in Monroeville. I have rehydrated it with spinach leaf as you can see right here. There is spinach leaf here. So I'm going to get rid of the spinach leaf and we shall press the flower because the rehydration process has definitely done what it's supposed to do here. I'm just going to empty this out. Okay. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I the, the pictures do not do this press justice. It is a completely amazing piece of functional artwork uh, that Chaz Ryan at CRD out in uh, Oxnard, California, he's the one that you want to get your presses from. Trust me on this. For the price point, for the features, the engineering that goes into this, you can't beat this guy. Now we are going to press not one eighth, but two. So we're going to do an entire quarter press, and we're going to use my Nug Smasher 160 micron, seven gram bags. I haven't used these before. I've only either used the big 14 gram ones, or I use the the regular eighth ones, the three and a half gram that I normally use. But since this is a new bag, I want or a new size bag for me. I'm going to try it out and see how it works for us. Um, this stuff, absolutely amazing. The rehydration process went flawlessly. We've got seven grams of rehydrated flour. We've got a 160 micron Nug Smasher bag, and we are going to load it up with this green and turn it into gold for everybody. That's the thing, man. You want to turn green into gold. This is the how you do that using a machine like mine you guys can get one too his prices are if you compare feature for feature capacity for capacity with any other manufacturer rosin presses you won't even come close to the value that you get ordering from this man here and we'll customize it any way you want you want different size plates you want a hydraulic ram instead of a hand pump he'll do all that for you He'll make it any color you want. He'll put your logo on it. Anything you want. The man is there to serve. And he does an amazing job. As long as FedEx doesn't mess up the shipment, it's all good. So, here is our quarter in our bag. We're gonna, I'm going to trim this off a little bit here. Make it a little easier to get in the press. And... Already got the paper in the press. I got the press heated up to 200 degrees. That is my normal pressing temperature for anything I'm doing for myself. I am now going to move this. I'm going to put this on the place. And then I'm going to move the camera so that you can see what's going on. So give me just a moment here. Okay. Let's get this moved over here. There we go. All right. Let's get this lighting situation a little better. Let's see what we can do here. Just bear with me. I don't have any helpers today on the camera work, so I'm trying to do this all myself. And if we're lucky, and you get to see this thing do its drip tech. It's usually pressing quarters, I can get that to work. So, let's see where we at on the plate. Right there, that's where we want to be. Let's bring down the hammer. Okay. All right. Got a little tension on that paper now. So, I'm going to bring this down 
Whoops. Okay. Let's get this up here. Like that. Actually, you know what? That's the problem. Those magnets didn't hold very well. It's okay. I got these. These work just fine. Let's get that done later. All right. There we go. Now, get the camera in here so you can see it really, really well. We just kind of move that in. Look at that view right there. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, there it is. There's the slug. Now, got you a nice view of it. Let's bring the pressure together. Oh, we're almost at the heat soak point already. That's good. That's real good. Loving this. Yep. Gotta move the lighting a little bit to give you a better better angle. How's that? Yeah, there we go. Just get you nice and focused in on that bag because you're going to start seeing the magic happen. I am slowly bringing these plates together in a controlled way. Uh, just like with the original design of the uh, Mini, it has a weighted handle which aids in controlled pressure without the need of a gauge. Um, again, it's one of the, the features that I really like about his presses, besides the fact that they're user serviceable, which is, again, just priceless in its value. Um, let's see what the Star Tribe's doing. I hope everybody got to the dispensary today and got some of that flour before it... Uh, before it went away, at least all the good stuff, I, you know, they were rationing it out. I couldn't get as much of the birthday cake as I wanted for sure. And uh, the Star Tribe I grabbed only because it was the closest thing to 30% I could find. So we're going to do our best with this. We're going to get the best medicine we can. But tomorrow morning, I'm going to be in line at the dispensary in Monroeville at the Healing Center because I heard that they got a nice drop of prime flour tonight. So I'm going to be there. I'm going to get it so I can press it at the event at the Monroeville Convention Center this weekend. The Holistic Wellness Expo. Body, Mind, and Spirit is going to be going on at the South Hall, and I will be featured there along with my friend Sloth. We will be pressing rosin, both dispensary flour and hemp CBD. Uh, it's going to be educational, it's going to be a lot of fun, and it's definitely going to dank up the entire venue. It's going to be great. Uh, had a great time in March doing this. Got an interview with Dispense Magazine back then. They just published it today in this newest edition of Dispense Magazine. Look for it in your local dispensary or at uh, some vape shops that are around the carry it. Uh, there's a really, really nice article in there that they did about uh, an interview that I had back in March with them at a, an event very similar to this one. This will be a much bigger event, so I'm hoping that everybody shows up. There's going to be a lot of people coming through. There will be a lot of flour getting pressed, I promise you that. So I'm going to start adding some more pressure now. And we're going to start seeing some production here pretty quickly, I would imagine. There we go. You can already, as soon as I added just a little more pressure to it, there it goes. There it goes. Look at how beautiful. That is a happy, happy plant. Properly rehydrated, pressed with care, and we're going to get some awesome medication out of this. You can't be in a hurry with rosin. You just can't. Okay? This is a craft. This isn't a science. It's not a hobby. This is a something that takes a lot of dedication to your craft. 
So if you don't have this kind of dedication, you might as well not even do this. Just buy concentrates at the dispensary and pay outrageous prices. If you're real serious about medicating, these presses pay for themselves in savings very, very quickly. I know the cost is high. This press here is the new design. It's probably going to run somewhere just under $700. I'm not exactly sure on the pricing. Uh, go to www.crd-online.com for his current pricing. And you can also set up how you want it um, modified because he will customize it for you. Look at that beautiful gold coming out of that green. That's what I do, people. I turn green into gold. Now, the question is, is it going to flow off these plates? So we're going to find out. I'm going to back up here. Okay. I'm going to back the camera up. Refocus it right down here. Let's see if I can get a little closer right there. Okay. Watch the mat because I'm about ready to tilt this thing. All right. Here we go. Yep, still a little tight from production. But here it is. We're going to get this thing tilted. I'm going to come back out here so that you can see how it's tilted. You see that? That's its trick. Get this stuff off the heat quickly, and it's already starting to drip, people. See that? There's your dripping starting right there. So let's give it a little more love right here. Try to keep my fingers off the plates, if possible, because they are hot. Look at that. That is a happy plant right there. Just giving us its beautiful essence. This is the soul of this plant, and we are getting the best of it. We're treating it well, We're pressing it with care. Here's a nice look at that. I'm going to take the camera off of here and give you a nice look at what's coming off these plates. Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Just gorgeous. So I'm going to bring it around. I give you a look up underneath, and there we go. Let's back out of this. You see, there it is. There's all our medicine trying to come off that heat. Look at the drips. Look at those drips. Oh my gosh, that stuff is just pouring off of here. And then if you look carefully, as it drops. You can see little rosin webs form sometimes. Really, really cool stuff. I'm going to put this thing back in the cradle now so that I can reposition this. We'll pull out just a little bit so you can see what it's doing. I'm going to add a little more, a little more pressure. See if we can't move some more material. There you go. There's a nice rosin web coming off of there. Yes. Look at that. Look at the color on it. It's so beautiful. Just gorgeous. So, look under here. Oh yeah, it's still still just giving itself to us here. This is love right here. This is love for this plant. And the plant loves you back, you know? That's what this is about. Making medicine. Better medicine than it comes. Flowers great. You start off with great flour, you end up with really great medicine. Not always the biggest yields, but always good quality. Quality in, quality out with pressing rosin. If your rosin doesn't come out looking like this, if it's dark and sappy, doesn't smell right, doesn't taste right, your flour sucks. I don't care who you are, go back to the drawing board and grow some better flour. You know, I'm sorry, but this press never lies. It's a crucible. Uh, always was. And it will tell you if uh, your flower is not, not tip top. 
Now, the lighting is not giving you an accurate look at what this stuff actually, how nice it looks under here. The color is just amazing. So, let's see. I think we're done with the major drippage, so we're going to flip it back up. We're going to step back out of there, move the camera, and we're back up here again. Get the lighting going on and there you go there's now we're at the not final stage but getting further along in our press now so we're going to keep monitoring it for both the pressure and the color and the production I'm starting to add a little bit of pressure very very gently I don't want to have a blowout uh, the color on this is just amazingly beautiful, just gorgeous. Um, yeah, there it is. See it really well there. And it is still producing medicine. This, this plant is very, very happy. GTI uh, is knocking it out the park with just about everything they're coming out with that's in the upper THC range. Prime, again, just fantastic results. And, of course, grassroots. Those are my three tops. If you asked me what flower to get, you could never go wrong with any of those three growers, ever. You could sometimes catch something good from Cresco. You can sometimes catch something good from Alira. sometimes from Terrapin, not very often, but sometimes. But if you are producing rosin, if this is what you do, you stick with those three until there's others that come along that prove themselves worthy because up to now, they're the only ones who consistently put out product and, and quality that makes pressing medicine from that flower not only easy, but just darn right damn well enjoyable. I love doing this. It's so satisfying to me you know it's like those videos you watch on YouTube that uh, oddly satisfying videos this is what this is for me but it's in real life so still getting a lot of production out of this it's just not happening quite as quickly and I am really wanting to err on the side of caution with these new bags I really don't want to have to clean up a blowout but I'm going to keep giving it a little bit more. I, I got to get a feel for how these bags feel on the press when we're at max pressure. I think we're just about where we need to be. I just don't want to see plant material squirting out between these plates. That would kind of put a bummer on it for me. And I think we're about done here. Production seems to have slowed to to almost nothing. Um, definitely at max pressure here. Don't want to don't want to ruin that. So let me get my magnets put it back, and we shall see what we got from GTI Star Trot. There we go. All right. Whoops. And unlike my older version of uh, my older press, um, let me get this back out here. Sorry about that. Let me get you all tuned back into what I'm doing over here. Okay, honey, can you um, can you get me centered up here and tighten it back down so I can finish this up? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Perfectly pressed puck. No blowout. Right at the edge of it, though. Right at the edge. Almost had one. No blowout. That's good, good, good. Now, let this cool down. Let me uh, put this 
it back together here. Very good. So we'll give this a gentle cool down. Let's see what we get off the paper. Don't forget, we got a lot of stuff sitting over here that came off the plates early. But for right now, we're going to get what it, what it has on the paper. So. Is it going to gather up? Okay, so it's a little on the sappy side. Nothing I haven't experienced before with this strain, so I'm not worried about it. It just takes a little bit different approach. I'm just going to approach this a little more patiently. I'm just going to Take our time, go over this paper very carefully, and we're going to get up all the good stuff. There we go. This is going to be nice. We're going to weigh it up, we're going to see what our yield was for the 7 grams of flour that went in. How much did we get back in medicine? And again, understand that all I'm doing, all this process is, is removing the unneeded plant material from the effective compounds in the flower. That's all we're doing here. The difference is, we're just not using chemicals, we're just using heat and pressure. It's very green. Every byproduct yields medicinally valuable products.